Hello Vance Studios viewers, this is John Vincent with the latest update. Last week, Dortmund unveiled their new major signing taking the football world by shock. However, a player, Vicentini, has expressed feeling underappreciated by the fans, adding to the drama, there's rumoured tension between Vicentini and the manager due to limited playing time on the pitch. At his first press conference, Vicentini shared his thoughts on the situation and why the media is to blame. Here is what he said. It's really important for me to be the kind of teammate that, you know, really brings out the best in everyone I'm on the floor with. So even though I think I did an okay job there, in the long term, you know, I, I, I want to get way more in sync with everyone. You know, but that'll come and just take some more reps. So, I mean, do you feel like you got lucky out there given the, <laughs> that you didn't raise the level of your teammates as much as uh, you would have liked to? Lucky. Did I get lucky out there? No, I did not get lucky out there. Like I said, we played well. We earned that win, but I'm a perfectionist. So I know we got a long ways from reaching our peak, and that's okay. You know, we got a long season and we're off to a great start. Okay, next question. John. There were a lot of media outlets in the preseason that made a big deal about the fan base's so-called negative reaction to you, but I did see quite a few people in the stand supporting you. Mm -hmm. Could you speak a little bit about that? Um, now, don't get me wrong, you know, it's not like I feel like I should be handed the keys to the city or, you know, get the red carpet rolled out for me. Um, but these days, it feels like everyone has an opinion, you know, so you can always find someone that's willing to put you down if you look for it. You know, it's, it's there. You know, for me, I'm just more focused on the people that support me, genuinely. You know, and I've got plenty of support in the city, so it feels good. <laughs> the times we live in, right? Seems like we're done here, huh? All right, see you guys later. I can't complain. A little nervous, but I can't complain. Uh, it looks like you're with Mr. Akpem today. Yeah. Uh, where is he again? Same floor as Mr. Novak. Okay. Uh, you got any advice for me? On talking to Mr. Akpem? Yeah, well, you, you, you've been working here for some time, you know. I don't really know him like that. Um, but you're a smart guy. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to be fine. How do you know I'm a smart guy, though? <laughs> I can read people, and you're smart. Cool. Thank you, but uh, okay. So what number am I thinking of right now? I said I could read people. I'm not psychic. I, it's, it's kind of the same difference, a little bit. It's a little different. <laughs> Aren't you going to be late for your meeting? Yeah, I probably will be. Um, same elevator as usual? Yes, they haven't moved. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, well, it's nice chatting with you. Uh, I'll see you later. Good luck. Thank you. Otella, oh, please. I am in my bag. You got it. So, but that's all just outside noise. Inside these walls, all we care about is ball. All right, well, I'm willing to put in the work. But all this stuff about controlling your own narrative, you're a ball player, not a politician. I want you to focus on your craft, not this PR stuff. Am I clear? Crystal clear. Good. I don't need to keep you. But if you ever want to talk, or if Freddie gives you a hard time, whatever, my door is always open. All right. Thank you, Mr. Ockpen. Othella, don't mention it. Thank me by putting in the work. All right. See you, coach. See ya. A fitting backdrop for a game of massive significance. The stage is set, a packed house at the ready, awaiting two teams who like nothing better than to test themselves on a stage like this. The tricky part is predicting which side will outfox the other. The Heldenstadt, as it's known, the city of heroes, the venue is the Red Bull Arena. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the Gant, Aydara. Incisive pass but not quite what was neat. And the snuffing out of the cross there. 
and just flicked off the defender so a corner coming up Now sending it in. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. In game. And that means we join Alex Scott for an update. A real opening now. In it goes. The opening goal in this contest. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Well, back underway here, and a wake-up call for Borussia Dortmund, you would think. Well, we're sorry for interrupting you just then, Alex. Simakon. Good tackle, take it away. How can he take them on and beat them? Oh, it might be. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. And over it comes. Well, it was a poor attempt, and a goal kick it is. To be added on. Trying to open them up. Terrific save. Over it comes. And that's it! A goal for Borussia Dortmund to square things here. Well, here's the replay, and you wonder if they've been working on this. It certainly caught the defenders off guard, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Referee's whistle. That concludes the first half here at the Red Bull Arena. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Really fine play to keep possession. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV, and we have more live Bundesliga action for you to look forward to. It's RB Leipzig facing Bayern. Well, the fixtures are coming thick and fast. It should be a good game, that. Hopefully, I've not just given it the commentator's curse. Dortmund have been awarded the free kick by the referee. Played in there. Well, I take my hat off to him because that was superb defending. To your Dortmund against Augsburg. A big moment here, Derek. Oh, yes! Oh! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to rival at the moment. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put it through. 
The vision to set up the chance is outstanding and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Well, just look at his reaction. That could prove to be a massive goal for his team. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. This is looking threatening. And nicely struck. But the keeper takes charge. And that will be that. The referee brings this match to an end. And maximum points for Borussia Dortmund today. What did you think of their performance? Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends. But I feel they were the better team. And they deserve their victory. Oh, he's given it away here. And this could be. Oh, it was well worth a go, but it's gone over the crossbar. He's drifting into a useful position here. On he goes, terrific. And the defense ready for what was coming. Silva, still problems for them here. And that's been cleared away. Well, they're certainly putting pressure on them, creating chances. The fans are responding to the positive play as well, really getting behind the team. It's there, and the gap is narrowed, with time for more to come. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box just begging for someone to get on the end of it and then what a great finish as well it's a good connection with the ball leaving the keeper with little chance it's a fantastic goal and a waiter is this the equalizer oh what a comeback one brought hope and it's been realized so so quickly Well, here's the replay, and you have to say it has been coming. They've been putting an awful lot of pressure on their opponents. They've been creating chances too, and you just felt it was a matter of time, really. So it's all square. Space now to get a crossover. And the ref will surely go to his pocket here. A deliberate action to stop them. And he does produce the yellow. Oh, without question. It wasn't the best of challenges, was it? And played in deep, back post. And that's not properly away yet. Well, it looked promising, but only up to a point. Oh, could regret that. This could do it for them. Oh, what a really good save that was. So that's it. All square at full time. And that probably feels about right. What are your thoughts, Sue? Yeah, I agree. Really enjoyed that. Both sides being really positive in their play. They were committing numbers forward. And we saw some good goals as well. And on reflection, a draw is probably the right result. Find out how you're gonna fit into the rotation. Coach, man, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't hype, man. You got no idea. Like I said, we wanted to see how you performed under pressure. You were very clear about that. Good. So, we got together and talked about it and decided the best role for you to start the year is as a solid rotation player off the bench. We'll get you the minutes. It's up to you to make the most of them. That's not exactly what I was expecting, but I guess it's up to me to earn my way into the starting lineup. And you've got the potential to get there. But I don't want you focusing on that right now. Take it one day at a time, put in the work, and the results will follow. 
I've never been afraid of work, you know? It's just I expect more for myself than this in the long term. I get it, 100%. Honestly, I'd be concerned if you didn't feel that way. You wanna make it here, you gotta have a hunger to be the best. I mean, if you're not competing to be the best here, what are we doing? <laughs> exactly, what are doing? exactly. Any questions? Ah, Koshi, I'm ready. Let's get it. See you out there. For real, the tactics and squad strengths have been analysed by committed fans and neutral observers to the nth degree. A confrontation that all football lovers will revel in, knowing that we might be about to witness a simply unmissable occasion. Who will come out on top? Great to be with you. Our action comes to you from the Borussia Park in München Gladbach. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former. Can they take advantage? Tremendously strong in the tackle. This is the lineup for Dortmund. Well, as you can see, they're going to play with a front two. And if you do that, it's vital that they work as a pair. Oh, Stuart, they've got to score! And there's it! The defending is so poor. They make so many bad decisions there. No wonder the key was exposed. So underway again here, one minute. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Can he compose himself? Well, he didn't miss by an awful lot. That's a good looking ball. And he's done it! Parity again! A magnificent game unfolding! Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. So, a level contest. 1-1. They were playing fluent football, but then the foul, and now you would anticipate a yellow card. Well, the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul. And crossed in there. Well, no danger now. Well, for Dortmund, there is quite a lot of running room. And nicely struck. Well, the shot looked promising, but the keeper had the measure of it. 
So there it is, the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at the Borussia Park. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. How about the cross? Chan. And blocked for now. Vicentini. Gladbach with the ball again. And a useful cross. And this time it's in! Fabulous goal. And just look at the celebrations. Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this... Well, we're inside the final 15 minutes. Spot on with that tackle. The high press was on, and the chance is on. Couldn't quite hang on. Superbly read and executed. They have to be bold, Borussia Dortmund, in these circumstances. This could square the game. Oh, it's a superb challenge. Toys we've got. Could be troublesome. Can they stop it going in? And the attack fizzling out. Brandt. There's the final whistle, and the visitors move on. Well, they had to work hard for it today. Very little to split between the teams over the 90 minutes. And they had to be quite resilient at times. They've come through that now and will certainly fancy their chances in the next round. This is it, a can't-miss game and a backdrop to match what is a special occasion. The fans had this one circled on their calendars long ago and now it's a matter of who will dominate on the pitch. Top players, big characters on the big stage, a highly exciting prospect. Don't miss a single second of the action. And here we are, not too far from where the ferries come over from the European side of the Bosphorus. This is the Asian side, the home of Fenerbahce. Will Borussia Dortmund confirm their presence in the knockout stages? It's Fenerbahce facing Borussia Dortmund. Well, Derek, I think Dortmund have been good so far. They seem to have a really nice balance to their team. Play well today and they should qualify for the knockout stages. It's 4-3-3, but they'll need to get their midfield players to join the centre forward as much as possible. If not, he'll become isolated. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And clearing his lines. Bright Osai Samuel. A very effective challenge put in. And Dortmund exploiting the space on the flank. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, but he's still got so much work to do. Just look at the stretch he shows to hold off the defender and still get his shot away. That's a really good finish. Well, he can't control his delight, can he? It's a wonderful moment for his team.
1 0 then. Dortmund unable to retain possession. Oh, surely. And up for grabs off the keeper. Well, an aimless clearance. What a vital intervention. Oh, he's lost possession. Well, what a stop it was. Well, I have to say, that's a magnificent save. That's a top-class piece of goalkeeping. Delivering it. And still an opportunity. Oh, a very fine header, but it wouldn't go in for him. And there it is, the half-time whistle. And the main thing is they're currently on course to book their place in the knockout stages today. Well, it's job half done so far. Well, underway once more. And it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur here. Ben Sabaini. Oh, is he going to be punished here? Decided to come in from the flank. Oh! So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Other live match from the Bundesliga coming up soon on EA TV. It's Borussia Dortmund against Union Berlin. I'm really looking forward... Oh, hang on, Stuart, look at this! Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it! Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Dzeko. The supporters want to see him have a go. And that's a corner. And Dortmund will go to the bench. Who's going to get on the end of it? And swept out of there. Terrific block. And a fine cross. And unable to hit the target. Goal kick here. Yeah, but it's good defense. Well, they know they need to stop him. Oh, a superb save. <laughs> Corner kick played in. Not really the ideal clearance. Marlin. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way. And so that is going to be that. The final whistle here. And they're in a pretty comfortable position because not only have they booked a place in the knockout stages, it's still very much on for them to finish top of the group, Stuart. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Derek. It's job half done at the moment. They'll still want to take that top spot, though. It could make all the difference going into the next round. That's the latest update. Despite Vicentini's fairly good performance, the board remains unconvinced and he might be sold for a profit. However, his future is still in his hands. What do you think will happen in the next episode? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, take care.